Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by. This is not going to be very good quality. Normally when I film stuff off the computer I use a capture method um, so it's electronic whereas this time I'm actually pointing the camera at the screen um, so the quality won't be as good but it doesn't need to be for this. Um, I made the mistake this morning of I've done my second visit to the property and I forgot to take my video camera with me. Now two problems with that. One, I needed to use it for information that I needed here to plan and in addition you'd have got a reasonable look round and unfortunately I was thinking about leaving and getting myself sorted out and I suddenly remembered that one of the main roads on the route is closed and I thought, oh, that's all right, I'll go round, there's a way round. And I thought, actually, that's going to take longer. And I got into a panic. I had to just drop everything and go, or I'd have been late. And I don't like keeping people waiting. So I forgot my camera, which is a nuisance, because that would have been incredibly useful for planning. Um, nonetheless, um, I took a notebook. I remembered that and took some notes. So I think we'll be OK. Now, the idea of... Um, as a, the reason I'm filming the screen is so that I can use my hands and point. If I do it electronically, obviously, I can't do that. Um, these are the two doors, and this one opens, and this one probably opens, but I'm going to keep it shut, because it's only me to go through the door. I don't need a double door. Not that big yet. Um, so basically, over in this corner here, I can have a pair of shelves. I can have another shelf unit here and another pair of shelves up in this corner and it doesn't matter if they come out over the door yeah now in fact they won't come out much yeah so that that's that's five shelves you know two doubles and a large single on down one side and then along this side you've got the opening window I've got a low shelf which will tuck in underneath there so that I can still reach across to get the window open and there's room for at least another shelf up in that corner there and my workbench hopefully up in this corner here um, so I think all the shelving and everything I've got so far will fit in there now you probably can't see very well but dotted around the top here are lots of little hooks and I thought, ah, there's hooks, I can put my wires up. And basically they're, they're hooks on sticky back plastic type stuff. They're not going to take any weight, so uh, we won't be using those. But what I did see up in that corner there, there's only one there, is an S-shaped hook, metal hook. And this top edge up there has got a lip. So an S-shaped hook could come over that lip and have things hanging on it yeah I wouldn't want to go too mad because it is plastic so you don't want to put too much weight on it and, and break it you know obviously I'll get charged for anything that breaks so I think this is going to work okay um, yeah and I am also thinking that because it'll have nice clean tidy lines um, I might start using the grow root grow roots <laughs> the grow lights um, for some of the plants not for all of them um, but I've got three large grow lights basically that I could set up um, for additional lighting um, mainly to extend the day length so that's that right um, the bit that I went over there for specifically is to plan furniture now, there's very little planning to do in the kitchen um, you know, there's a cooker there. Um, there is no fridge freezer there. I'm going to have to buy one. But there's a brilliant place to put that. There's a there's a cupboard in the hallway. Yeah, so which is just round the corner from the kitchen, literally. Um, and that's where the previous people kept their tall fridge freezer. So I think I'll probably do the same. So it does. It won't be in the kitchen, which is a trifle inconvenient, but not a major big deal because it's just round the corner from the kitchen. So uh, not a big deal, but there isn't, I could have a smaller fridge freezer in the kitchen, but because the boiler's in the corner where it would go, it would have to be lower uh, to tuck underneath. So I think I'll run with what the last people did. Now I did have a problem in the kitchen, because under here, you can't see it, it's the space for the washing machine. And although I can see the two 
the two taps to connect the water, um, there's a hot one and a cold one. Well, I own my washing machine that just uses a cold feed, so I'd only need one of those. At the moment, I couldn't see where the waste water goes out. So I've left that with the agent who was showing me round, which is the one I've been dealing with, to go away and check that out for me, because I do, I must have the washing machine in there. So she said she'd check that out. The previous people had a washing machine, so she, she can't quite work out, but she said she'll find it out for me. Um, the a quick look around the back garden, which will be tidy when I get there. All these fallen leaves and everything will all be cleared up and it'll all be nice and sort of tidy. There's a large, well not large, but there's a raised patio area there, which is probably going to be the only place, this top corner here is probably the only place that's going to get any reasonable sun of any, of, you know, of any decent uh, amount. So I think my bonsai may be able to go there. So, uh, And there's a shed to keep you know, storage, <laughs> that sort of thing. Right, back into the house, the planning. Now we got, this is one view of the lounge, looking one way, and this is looking the other way. Yeah, so if you imagine this room here, if you were standing here, that would be your view. Yeah, so doors to the conservatory on the right there, and this little alcove here, is actually a cupboard. So it's not a little alcove at all. It's got a door on it and, and, and an amount of space. But um, there, yeah? So that's the bit that's sticking out there, leaving this alcove here. And um, I've measured up and everything, and I think it's gonna sound odd, but it's gonna work, trust me. <laughs> so my three-seater settee and chair are gonna go along that back wall. Two reasons for that. Um, I, you know, it, 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 it's a good use of a wall and it hasn't got a radiator on it. So that's a good place to have the seating area, um, facing out into the room. Um, I'll be able to get one of my furniture units up in the corner here. Not quite sure which one yet. Um, it might just be a, a, a shelf, you know, a shelf unit or something, but, um, I'll be able to get something up in this corner. So that takes care of that back wall. Now coming out from that wall up in that corner towards the conservatory doors is another blank wall with no radiator on um, and what I'm proposing to do is which is the best way to look at it the best way to look at it will be here right so this, this that's the corner I'm on about up there yeah looking towards the conservatory doors so yeah, we're in this corner here now, looking out into the room. This area here is going to have the dining room table in it and the chairs. Yeah, so that, that's that wall taken care of. So you, that's the kitchen door there through that bit there. So you come in here and the dining room table's there. So I'm happy with that. And that means when I'm having my tea, I can still look out into the conservatory. So that, that works. Coming out of this corner, what I'm proposing to do is this... L-shaped unit that I'm on now, this is my computer table basically, it's an L-shaped corner unit basically and I'm, I'm planning on having it here sticking out into the room but I'm going to take it farther along because this door doesn't open, only that door opens. So I can have furniture coming out across there so I'm going to have my computer unit I'll be sitting in this little bit here, looking straight out of the conservatory over the top of my screen. And I like that idea. And then, so the short side there, long side here, sticking out into the room. That makes a bit of a separator between the seating area and the eating area by sticking out into the room. We haven't finished yet, because on the end of that bit sticking out of the room is where I'm going to put the TV unit. So again, if you think we've got all our seating along that back wall and we've now got our sort of computer area and TV area here and there'll be more than enough room to walk through to where the seating area is. So this little separation bit here will sort of divide the room into two. And um, yeah, I think it's going to work okay. I mean, the planning upstairs, there isn't any. <laughs> it's just, you know, uh, 
that's the big bedroom with the built-in wardrobes. Well, that'll have the double bed in and a, and a drawer unit. Um, that's the other sing, you know, uh, other bedroom that'll have the single bed in and a drawer unit for Hannah. All this lot's gone. That that'll just be a spare bedroom, basically a storage room. Um, so there's no planning to go on there. And obviously the bathroom, you know, it's, it's a bathroom, isn't it? You don't plan anything in a bathroom. But yeah, it's taken quite a bit of thinking as to where this furniture is going to go in in this room. Yeah, because it is a slightly odd shape. And obviously this door here opens outwards. So I can't have a furniture unit tucked right up in the corner there because it will stop the door opening. But I don't know what I'm going to keep in there yet. Um, I may well keep a lot of the stuff to do with the orchids. You know, I, I, there may not be any shelves in there at the moment, but I could easily get a shelf unit to have um, something in there, if you see what I mean. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm sort of nearly there. The, the idea of this visit was so that when I go over there with the furniture men, I can tell them that bit goes there, that goes there, that goes there. And in theory, it won't have to move afterwards, um, which means I haven't got to start shifting it around, you know, because it'll already be planned. And um, <clears throat> I confirmed today, did it myself because the agent, well, the previous tenants weren't being cooperative. Um, you can't do much about that, can you? Why, I don't know. But um, the internet service is already set up. So the internet service that I use now, the fiber optic cable, the good one, is there ready to go. In fact, the little box is in the corner there. <laughs> so what I did was I had a look at this. I thought, well, there's a couple of TV points here. There's a couple of phone points and, and a box. And I thought, well, that looks like the Virgin fiber optic cable box. Um, so I, I had a good look at it, I had a look underneath to see what sort of socket it's got. I had a really good look at it and when I got home I got under the table here and had a good look at mine and they're identical. So the service is there as, as I phoned up and asked and they said yes it is. So the internet I shouldn't get a break. Um, I'll choose a day basically and you know unplug the hub here and then drive over there, plug it in, and in a very short space of time the internet should be up and running. It should all be done within a day, so uh, there shouldn't be a break, which is obviously quite important to me. So, uh, so we're getting there. The furniture men are booked. My furniture goes on the 7th. Um, Hannah is now not coming down the weekend before I get the keys. She's coming down the weekend after I get the keys so that when we pack stuff into boxes it can go straight in the car and we can go over there and unload it um, and it also means that she'll get to see the place which if she came down the weekend before I get the keys she wouldn't so uh, that'll be a weekend moving my son came round and we got rid of all the old electrical stuff all the old computers and screens and old TVs um, that's all gone now out the way and um, the only other big deal I've got to do is I'm going to have to get a shredding company um, once upon a time I ran a pub and obviously you've got um, people's personal details in the paperwork you know their PAYE details from their wage slips all that sort of stuff um, VAT reports uh, tax stuff and and more importantly people's personal details so that needs shredding um, you can't just let that float around in landfill blown about in the wind can you even though technically it's only paper, it's what's on it. So, and I, I found a company where they, they deliver some sacks, um, which you pay for, and then when you're ready, they come and collect them. Full up, obviously, <laughs> you fill them up in the meantime. Um, so it'll give me an excuse to have a really, really good clear out of all my paper folders, all my records, bank statements when I used to have paper ones. All that sort of stuff, again, has got details on it's got bank account numbers on it's got personal details on so uh, we'll have a go at um, getting rid of all the, the old paperwork and cut it right down to a bare minimum because basically nowadays I don't have much on paper uh, 
most of it is online, you know. So the, the need to stock up loads of flipping paper isn't there anymore. So, uh, yeah, we're getting there. As I say, my son helped me. Um, the, the big bedroom upstairs had lots of boxes in the wardrobe, which have all been got out and looked at. And I've decided, like, well, I'm keeping this. I don't want that. I'm keeping this. There was loads of stuff stashed under the bed. I lifted that up while he dragged all that out. And we've we've sorted that out into some stuff that I, I, I'd like to keep and, and stuff that's not wanted. And in amongst that is paperwork that needs to be shredded. So, so we're getting there. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, yeah, a strange morning. I, I felt I felt a little uncomfortable because I didn't have my camera with me and my one of my sole purposes of going over there was to film. But really, the reason for filming was to find out which way doors opened and where radiators were, specifically for this room. Well, I measured that. I measured from that corner out to where the, the door starts, where the um, conservatory doors start. Um, I measured that. Um, found out which way that door opens and I could have found that out anyway without even going there because it's there. If the handle's there then that's the way it opens, isn't it? <laughs> Duh. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, I've got all the information I need to be able to get going. Um, and as I said, the dining room table up there so that when we're eating we can still see out there. Um, and this sort of... Um, pair of units coming out into the room which will you know which will come out to about here um, leaving you know a walkway through to come into the, to come into this area which is a seating area and you know like watching TV and stuff like that so I think it'll work uh, yeah so th those were the ideas and um, I'm, I'm happy now that you know when the furniture men get over there with it as they bring each piece in I can go that bit goes there that bit goes there um, and it'll all be hopefully in the right place and not need moving again or minor adjustment at the most and then um, it's funny a lot of people forget wiring now you have to sort of think if I just go over what's on this table where I am now um, obviously there's the laptop now, wires that come out of here, there's the direct internet connection, there's a USB that comes out that goes into my little gadget that produces my quality sound, yeah? That's not it, but that will stop there at the moment. Um, there's a USB which is, um, oh no, my mouse is wireless now. There's the mains cable coming in, and then there's the um, HDMI that feeds the laptop into this nice big screen, yeah? Uh, yeah, and then there's another USB which my camera joins up to. So that's just sitting on the surface here. The, the hub is on here, the actual internet hub. The sound system is here. That's got five speakers on this desk, one on the windowsill, you know, one tucked up the back there, two here, another one on the end, and a big subwoofer under the table. All of those have got wires to join them up. And then under the table there's a printer. <laughs> yeah. And nearly everything nowadays has to have a, a mains lead, you know, with a transformer box on it. Um, so there's all those under there. Uh, <laughs> and that's just this table. <laughs> and then behind me, like, is the TV, you know, and, the, uh, <laughs> and all the wires that go with that. The TV's got a DVD player. That's also got a surround sound system, which has got speakers all around got speakers all around the room. I thought there's a cat hissing at each other. <laughs> I suspect one's decided the other one needs a wash and that one has decided he'd rather stay asleep <laughs> and so got disturbed. Oh, I wonder what on earth that was. Um, yeah, so wiring, you know, there's wires all over the place in this house and by having the um, TV and the laptop together here, the only real wire that needs to run around the room is the one that's got to come from this corner here, round behind the settee and the chair, and along that wall to get to where the um, the hub is. Um, I don't specifically need the laptop to be wired in, quite honestly. The hub is powerful enough that I could just have the laptop wireless if I if I chose to. But um, anyway, so there we go. That that's that was just as I say. We got the. 
um, front view outside. I I did think the carport was for me, but only half of it is. <laughs> <coughs> but nonetheless, it's more than enough to park my car and a bit of storage. Um, plus, I've got room for a car, you know, in front of a car that's in the carport. So I've um, got plenty of room out there for the car. Um, there is a satellite dish on the wall there. Now, that's a sky dish. Um, so if I don't get a very good, very good normal TV signal on a normal TV aerial, which there are sockets all over the house for, so I suspect they've got a good quality aerial up in the roof. Um, but if I don't get a good signal on that, then I've got a box, a FreeSat box, which will actually take the signal off the off the Sky Dish for normal. That's for TV watching, you know, for normal TV. So. Uh, yeah, and I mean this 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 garden. I think when that's had all the dead leaves tidied up and everything, that'll that'll be quite a nice little garden to look out on. Um, some of these shrubs, I think, will flower. You know, at certain times of the year, possibly. I don't know. Find out. Um, and I should be able to take my bonsai and a couple of my garden trees with me. Um, yeah, tidy little garden. And as I said, this is um, this is slightly off skew, but north facing. This is the bit I was trying to explain. The sun sets west over there, so this isn't going to get the setting sun because this building's in the way. This is the attached house, and it sticks out the full length of the conservatory, slightly longer in fact. So the sun coming in from this side of the screen, the west setting sun is not going to hit that. And if you look out the top of the screen. Going towards the east is a flipping great tree, so I don't think I'm going to get morning sun either. So I don't think I'm going to get any sun. The sun I might get will come over the roof when the sun is high in the sky and should catch the end of it. But it's not going to be like the whole conservatory is in full sun. And that's a polycarbonate roof, so it's not clear glass, not like the, not like the, uh, the rest of it. So that should be okay. Yeah, so... This is quite a big room, but it is actually a lounge diner. You know, there isn't a separate dining room. Personally, I'm not too keen on a separate dining room. Um, I, I do like a, you know, a sort of more open plan view. Um, I mean, I'd like a room that's really, really big, that's actually a, everything all in one. You know, so it's actually a dining room, you know, a lounge area and the kitchen o over one side as well. Because you often find the poor person doing the cooking and preparing the meals is <laughs> shut out in the kitchen on their own. And everybody else has got their drinks and everything and having a great time in a different room. So if it's all open plan, everybody joins in together. <laughs> and then starts interfering with the cooking, which we don't have. <laughs> Even Hannah doesn't help much. And that's not because she, she always says, is anything I can do? No, I'm okay, thank you. <laughs> she does help sometimes, actually. Chopping stuff up and things like that. Yeah, so, so I'm happy that um, this room, um, it's quite funny actually, because the people who had it before had their settee here and their TV opposite. That window faces south. <laughs> so you're not going to see much on the TV screen, are you? They had to keep the curtains pulled all the time to be able to watch the telly. Uh, their telly was so big it filled that whole wall. You know, So I think they spent a lot of time watching TV. But yeah, they had their room that way round. But... Uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, let's say, seating area, bit of furniture perhaps at the end there, and then dining area there, and a, like uh, some furniture being used for a room separator. Um, nice big storage cupboard in there. That is big as well. I mean, if you think the door itself is three foot, and that's slightly off the wall, and then there's this bit here. So it's actually a large cupboard. It's under the stairs, basically. Uh, the stairs go up over the top of that, so up to the upstairs. Anyway, so that's it. Um, that's what you've got instead of me taking the camera with me on the grounds that I forgot it, as I said. So uh, there we go, a sort of an extra look round, um, you know, with some words to go with my ideas and everything. But it's not too long away and you'll be seeing it for real. This time's going to fly past. I mean, it's, um, you know, there's, a, there's only just over 10 days left in this month. 
and, and then I'll have the keys. And obviously, once I get the keys, you know, we can, we can go over there and have a have a good look round. I can start start getting some things that are boxed up. You know, we can start getting some carloads over there. And start getting them put away. I can get the majority of my clothes over there. You know, there's lots of clothes in the wardrobe and in the drawers and stuff that don't get worn that often. Um, so those can go over. Spare pairs of shoes, all sorts of things, you know. Start getting things over there. Um, you know, my books can go over. So, uh, pack up, you know, like I said, once I've got the keys, I'm happy to start packing stuff in boxes because I can take those boxes straight out to the car and take them there so that they're not in my way here, which is what I don't want. Yeah, I don't want uh, carpet, <laughs> cardboard boxes all over the floor in, in the house that I'm living in. I'm quite happy to have them over there in that place because there's so much storage in that place that you know most of the most of the stuff that gets taken over there can be put out of the way. So that when the men get there with the furniture, they you know they're not tripping over stuff. They've got a clear run to just take the furniture through. It should work okay. And, um, yeah, so that's it. The carport here, where are we? This bit. You might just be able to see it above the roof of that car. Just there, right at the back, is a gate. Now that gate goes down an alleyway down the side of the house and into the back garden. So there is a way into the back garden. And somebody has already put some like chicken wire halfway up that gate, because that's an open gate, a wrought iron gate. And um, somebody's already put some chicken wire halfway up. So the back garden is actually sealed. So the cats will be able to go for a wander around the back garden. But they haven't, they haven't got a cat flap. So they'll have to be let in and out, if you see what I mean. So, you know, they'll stay in at night, definitely. But during the day, if they, if they yowl to go outside, they're welcome to do so. But not for a week or so. Let's get them used to their new home. And used to the ability to look out of those conservatory doors to see what's there. So that they'll get a picture of it and they'll recognise the way back in, if you see what I mean. Although it will be reasonably obvious. But that is the only way into the back garden, is through that little gate there and out through the conservatory. There isn't a separate back door like I've got here. So uh, I don't go out in the back garden very often anyway. <laughs> anyway, there we go. As I say, a, a talk round the house um, to replace what would have been a video round the house because I forgot to take the camera with me. A little bit flustered this morning once I remembered that road was closed. So. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.